and welcome back to Prep Recruiting inside of PRI here at Moe's Pizza on the West Bank in West Wego. I'm the head coach of PRI, Rick Gailey, along with our Prep Recruiting Insider, Renee Nato. And we're joined in this segment looking at Class 5A and Co Class 3A, Coach Joe Chango of Country Day and Coach Reggie Rogers of the <coughs> Bonneville Bruins. Renee, we've got two semifinals coming up here in 5A. What are your thoughts? Well, you know, Landry Walker, 55 points a game. Uh, they beat Parkway 61 to 21. Uh, Emmanuel Powell at Landry Walker in the seventh year lost to Curtis and Carr the first two games, but they've been on a tear. Destrahan, number one seed, four state titles, uh, two quarterback system, J.R. Blood and Colin Grenier, but also they have a dual, uh, have a dual uh, threat in, in the backfield. John Emery and Christian Mosley. And wide receivers, Michael Young committed to Notre Dame and Justin Jefferson. They are finding a way to win. Zachary will face off with West Monroe. Zachary 10 and 3, averaging 44 points per outing, number 11 seed. They beat a good Acadiana team, 31-24. That defense comes up with big plays. Quarterback Keelan Brown has been solid. And West Monroe, 51 points per game. They are solid everywhere. Quarterback Robert Scott Faust, 6'4, 190 pounds. Uh, has a lot of weapons at his disposal. Joe, I'm going to start with you. What game or what team out of these four really kind of grabs your attention? Well, I think Destrahan's one of those teams that always grabs your attention just because year in and year out what they're capable of doing um, and the quality of mm -hmm. players that they've always had. Their coach Robichaud does a phenomenal job with those guys. Um, and, and they're just a hard team to, you know, you, know, you don't want to face them ever, you know. So anytime you got to line up with them, you know, you're going to have your hands full. And so I think, you know, they kind of jump out at you. I mean, obviously, West Monroe does too because they've had some success in their time uh, in football in Louisiana. But uh, I'm, I'm, I think Destrehan is going to be a tough team to contend with in that bracket. Reggie, you see a dark horse in there or you see a favorite? Um, I see a favorite. Um, I had some familiarity with uh, Landry mm -hmm. Walker. Um, those guys are pretty talented. Um, uh, I don't think it's a surprise that they're where they, what they are right now, man. Those guys are fast and they're physical and they know how to play football. And I think. Um, it's going to be a great game. You see a door course. You see anything um, Zachary? Zachary, with the, what they lost last year, they lost the lead in that quarterback last year. For them to, to rebound and to be where they are right now, Coach, is, is a test, testament to their uh, coaching staff as well, getting those kids prepared and getting them back to where they believe they should be. You know, um, And I think it's going to be a, a great football game with, with uh, Zachary and West Monroe. And I think Zachary might can pull this one out. And Joe? West Monroe is West Monroe. Uh, you know, we, we would all like, to, I think, to be in a situation where in the beginning of every year, you're expecting to wind up in the dome. Yeah. Yes. That, that doesn't happen often. Well, I, wonder, well, I wonder what that's like. Do you, yeah, can can, they, you, can they you, know, you imagine? They know up there, that's for sure. Right. I remember the first time I went to go scout them. It was the craziest thing I ever saw. That's right. Quite an experience <laughs> because it's interesting in that match, in the coaching matchup, David Brewerton is a disciple of Sid Edwards. Mm -hmm who coached the Jesuit back in the day, a bunch of places. In fact, Sid Edwards won a state championship at Redemptorist in football and basketball, mm -hmm. two years in a row in 3A and 4A. And he was the head coach of both of them. Wow. And Jerry Arledge, of course, with Don Schaus, right. uh, the, the legendary coach there. Uh, Zachary Broncos being the defending champion. So that's, uh, that's going to be a big, that's going to be really great. Those guys know what they're doing. Correct. So let's go to 3A. There's some familiar names there in 3A as well, starting with the Lutcha Bulldogs at 11-2, the defending champions at the West Feliciana Saints at 13-0, and, and the Amit Warriors at 10-3, even though know, they're a seventh seed, at the Kaplan Pirates. And Lutcha's seven state titles, their defense is allowing 14.5 points per game in the playoffs. John Trey Kirkland, was the state MVP last year in the, in the state championship win. Aldontre Davis, 57 grabs, 865 yards, and 11 scores. West Feliciana, uh, Coach Ronald Sims, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, uh, Ronald Sims is running back, but uh, Rob Odom has is, is done a great job. Ronald Sims, a 6'2", 230-pound battering ram running back, and full uh, linebacker, Hunter Smith, 6'1", 215, number 42, watch him, over 300 tackles, in the last two years. Kaplan runs that 3-3-5 defense. 
They had an 8-0 squeaker over at North Webster. But uh, Julius Johnson, over 1,600 yards as a running back, 22 touchdowns, also plays linebacker. And the Amit Warriors with three state titles, uh, offensive scoring 38 and a half points per game. An elite receiver in Don Devontae Smith. Everybody in the country wants an LSU, Miami, and Alabama are probably his finalists. Wow. But you got some skill talent there. And we've got some backstories here, uh, Reggie mm -hmm. and Joe. When you're looking at the Lutcher Bulldogs in West Feliciana, a rematch of the semifinals from last year, where Lutcher won right. in overtime. That was their closest game. Reggie, when you're looking at a, at a, at a game like that, uh, that's, I mean, revenge is, is a strong word, but West Feliciana has been in the, in the semifinals three years in a row. Right, right. The past two years, they lost to the eventual state champion. Right. What, do they, what does a team have to do to get over, over a hump like that? Um, to me, you have to have, uh, you, you have, to have a good memory of, of, of the teams you face and what you went through, and your offseason has got to be dead on with some goals set aside, some set for yourself and your program to get over that hump. You know, when you get there, you know, the amount of times they've been there, there's something you have to do to get over to the next level. And I'm pretty sure in this offseason, they focused on the things that they needed to to get to the next level, Coach. And, and what is Lutcher going to have to do, Joe? Because they're going on the road to West Feliciana. They won the game last year, but now they know the other team's going to have some added incentive. What's, what's Lutcher got to do to be successful? Yeah, I think it's just a focus on the game and, and moving, advancing, right? Just, right? just focus on what do we do? We make first downs and we stop people and Correct. hold them to 14 points, score 21, let's get to the dome. You know, mm -hmm. and I think um, Coach Jenkins has done a tremendous job there the last couple of years. Um, coming back to, to Lutcher this year, but he, um, you know, they're going to have their hands full. West Virginia right. is a pretty good football team. It's not like they, you know it's an easy cakewalk for them. Uh, they're going to have to go up there and get their work in to, to, to go to the dome. But I think it's going to be a heck of a game. Yep. And it's hard to stop triple option teams that have a lot of skill, yeah, no doubt. which yes. West Feliciana does. But there's a backstory in the Amit Kaplan game as well. I'm very familiar with both schools because we were in 3A for so long. Remember, Amit was suspended last year right. for the mm -hmm. semifinals. Yeah. What do you think Amit's thinking this week, Joe? Yeah, I think they're happy that they're, it's not last year anymore. Right? Um, I think that they, they probably have a little chip on their shoulder and feel like they have a little something to prove. And, um, and you know, no one wants to see that happen to a, a program what happened last year. And uh, it was a very unfortunate situation, which, you know, hey, look, stuff happens. Uh, but at the same time, I think they, have a, they, have, they feel like they have a lot to prove. And, and they want to put themselves in a position where that they belong and they want to be in that final. And I think, it's, again, it's going to bode well for them as, as that, when the outcome Excellent. That is Class 5A and Class 3A with Coach Chango and Coach Rogers. When we come back after this next time out, we're going to be joined by Coach Tony Agresta with Reggie to go over the rest of the non-select side of the bracket. Got nine different champions, and we got finals, we got semifinals, we got it all, and we got it here on PRI. We'll be back.